Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's uh, session. In this particular video, uh, we shall be looking at the topic percentage profit and loss. Right? So, of course, we will not be looking at the topic in totality. Right? Uh, we will look at a few of the concepts that we have here. For example, in percentages, in today's video, I will be focusing, emphasizing entirely on the importance of fractions. Right? Why should we learn as a aspirant all right any any competitive exam that you're planning to take be it mba entrance test or otherwise all right why is fractions topic in percentages very vital very important that's what we'll be focusing on for more detailed discussions of these kinds uh, please uh, get in touch with your late uh, closest center all right or uh, please check out our online courses that we offer right and pick up the course join the course that you seem to find a fit right with respect to your goals right we are uh, we at time are national leaders in this uh, test prep for cat right uh, the results that we have are uh, unbeatable unmatchable so far right we have the best results in the country the highest number of call getters highest number of final converts into iams right so just just know where to go uh, in case you are planning to uh, enroll or planning to go for mba let us get started with the video today. So, the concept that I would like to take up today is as I said fractions. So, any of the percentages that you see 25 percent, 43 percent, 50 percent, 75 percent, 70 percent, any percentage that we take can always be expressed as a fraction right because that is the entire meaning of the word percentage itself right. For example, if I say 23 percent. So, percent means for every 100. So, that means 23 percent mathematically means 23 for every 100. So, that means it is a fractional form p by q form. So, this way if you want to convert any percentage into fraction, the technique is very simple. So, a percentage if you want to convert that into a fraction corresponding fraction, we simply divide a by 100. And in reverse, if you want to convert any fraction to percentage, you do the reverse operation, you multiply by 100. So, this way any of the percentage can be converted to fraction or vice versa fraction to the corresponding percentage. Now, why is this particular conversion, why is this particular concept useful? Let us try to divert our attention to that. I will be taking some examples for this, right. Let us let us start off with the following question. Let me just clean this up. So, the question is if a is equal to this, find the value of a square. Okay. So, what is a? a is this entire percentage 33.33 percentage of, 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 of. So, how do we find that? So, we have discussed already that 33.33 percentage, this symbol means by 100. So, I can write it as by 100 of means multiplication, 37.5 percentage means by 100, again of 72.72 percentage means by 100 into 1221. And then what I will try to do is, I will try to cancel out the common factors that exist, finally multiply the terms in numerator, divide by whatever is left over in denominator, we will get our answer. But as you can imagine, this process is going to take a really long time and a lot of more efforts. So, how can we simplify our efforts is by paying attention to the importance of fractions. So, there is a small task that I would ask you all to do, right. The task is, uh, we have discussed already that how do we convert a fraction to corresponding percentage, right. So, please do that for all the fractions from 1 by 1 which is equivalent to 100 percent, 1 by 2. 1 by 3, 2 by 3 and so on till 1 by 12, 11 by 12. So, till here please calculate all the simple percentages equivalent of the fractions and also their multiple meaning if I do 1 by 8, I should also remember 3 by 8. I should also remember 5 by 8 and so on. It is not just 1 by 8 that is important for us, the remaining multiple should also be, we should be in a position to recall them. 
and not just this in fact you can go beyond this 1 by 13 is how much so I'll just write it down for your sake if you're noting it down now 1 by 14 is how much 7.14 percentage 1 by 15 6.67 6.25 1 by 17 is how much 5.88 1 by 18 5.55 1 by 19 is 5.26, 1 by 20 is 5 percent, 1 by 21 is 4.76, 1 by 22 4.54, 1 by 23 is 4.34. So, all these values if you can remember it is great and just by going through them again and again every day you will eventually remember all of this 1 by 24 is 4.16 and 1 by 25 is 4 percent. Now, if you want to go beyond this you are free to do that, but I would not be going beyond this for example, 1 by 26 is how much 3.86 percentage all that, but I believe 1 by till 1 by 25 is more than sufficient for all your competitive exams. So, just try to memorize these because I will just clean this all. They will be directly useful in some really, really complicated problems, for example, like this. Let us look at this. Let us convert every percentage into fraction because generally discussion analysis happening in fractional term is simpler than percentage terms. So, what does this mean? A will be equal to what? This is 1 by 3, 37.5 percent when you look at the fraction corresponding to it, it is 3 by 8. 72.72 .72 when you look at the corresponding fraction, it is 8 by 11 to 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay? So, when you simplify this cancels out, 8 cancels out and you are left with 1 by 11. In fact, you can cancel out 11 also. So, 11 will go 1 time, 1 time, 1 time. So, A is 1, 1, 1, 111. So, if A is 1, 1, 1, the question was A square. So, what will be A square? 1, 1, 1 square. How do we find 111 square? 111 is how much more than 100? 11 more. Listen to this carefully. 111 is how much more than 100? It is 11 more. Increase 111 by 11. So, you will get what? 111 by 11 is 122. Just hold it. Then, what is the difference between 111 and 100? 100 is the key number here, right? 100 is what we are comparing it to. It is 11 more. The difference is 11 square the difference. So, 11 square 121. So, what we will do is I will write 21 and 1 I will take it here carry. So, 2 and 1 together will make it 3. So, it will give us 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So, this is going to be our answer which can be very easily solved if we go by fractions and not by percentages. So, this is the entire emphasis I would like to bring here because if you are stuck with the percentages, you will take a lot of time and the worst case scenario is even after putting a lot of time, you might get a wrong answer or you might give up in between. So, it is always advisable to go for corresponding fractions for your analysis, for your problem solving and all. I hope we are clear with this. Next, we have some more questions right, on the same application of uh, fractions. And all. For example, look at this and what you may do is you may pause the video now, give this question a try. So, let us start the discussion anyways. In 2023, if 42.85 percentage of total cars produced are exported and in 2024, 58.33 percentage of total cars are exported, then find the ratio of the number of cars exported in 23 to 24 given that number of cars produced in 24 is 30 percent more than in 23. So, that means, that means, if I talk about exports of car in 2023, it is nothing but 42.85 percentage of the production in 2023, right or simply I can write 23, that will be better I think. Similarly, exports of cars in 24 is 58.33 
of production in 24. Okay. Now he is asking us for the ratio of these two. So that means my answer can I say is nothing but 42.85 percent of P23 is to 58.33 percent of P24. So right now again if you look at it in the present form things are not that simple. 42.85 and 58.33 if you try to simplify it in the present form is going to be a very difficult task. Okay? It is not an easy task for sure. But the moment I observe that 42.85 percentage in fractional terms is nothing but 3 by 7. Now the question in your minds could be how does one know this? So one would know it only after practice. You have to spend some time with the fractions the one the thing that we did 1 by 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5 so on till 1 by 25. So that list you will have to go through it, you will have to be thorough with it, right? you will have to kind of memorize it. 3 by 7th of P23 is to this will be 58.33 percent is nothing but 7 upon 12 of P24. Not just that, we also have one more information that cars in 2024 is 30 percent more than cars in 23. That means production in 23 if it is 100, production 24 is going to be 130. So that means what is the ratio of 23 is to 24? Can I say it is 10 is to 13? So if I take 23 as 10 parts, 24 is going to be 13 parts. And unfortunately here, I do not think so we can cancel out anything. So, let us simplify just like this. So, it is 30 by 7 is to 7 into 13 is 91 by 12. Cross multiply or simply multiply throughout by 7 into 12. It will give me 30 into 12, 360 is to 91 into 7, 637. So, this is the final ratio that we are looking at number of cars exported in 23 to number of cars exported in 24. So, if you look at this particular question now, you see that the importance of fractions in our problem solving becomes quite evident, right? Because if you are not really comfortable with fractions and all, this problem might seem like unsolvable, all right? Even by using a calculator sometimes, all right? Because using a calculator, you would take this as <coughs> 0 0.4285. And this has 0.5833. And when you will find the ratio of these two, I am just giving a random number, I do not know what is the ratio, you will get, you will get an answer like 0 0.7312. And that should, might not match with this. So, again, I have to check in the options which option is 0 0.7312. That is going to take a lot of time. So, even after using a calculator, things are not that simple. So, that means it is really, really important for all of us to memorize the fractions to varying levels. Huh? Someone might say okay 1 by 25 you have done all right great. If you cannot do 1 by 25 do at least till 1 by 16, 1 by 20 or at least 1 by 12. Basically you should be comfortable with different types of fractions that generally appear in competitive exams. Moving on, one more question on the same uh, fractions. 23.33 percent of x is 15.78 percent of y, then x is to y is how much? So, again here importance of fractions is really, really uh, clear, uh, it is very evident because we need to find a simple answer. We cannot give an answer like 15.78 is to 23.33, we cannot do this. That would not be one of the options, right? So, let us simplify it. So, how do we simplify it? Of course, by using fractions here also. How do we do that? 23.33 can I observe it as 33.33 minus 10. So, in fractional terms this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 10. When you simplify by taking the LCM it is 7 by 30. So, that means this percentage is equivalent to 7 by 30 of x. Now, when you come to 15.78. For 15.78, I want you to recall the table that you would have written with me, along with me. So, over there we have written 1 by 19 as 5.26 percentage. 
So when you multiply by 3 on both sides, we shall get exactly this number. So thus can I say 15.78 is nothing but 3 upon 19. Again here also we cannot really cancel out anything. Hence can I say x by y that is x is to y is nothing but 30 into 3 90 by 7 into 19 which is 133. So thus x is to y is going to be 90 is to 133. So one more example there could be plenty of more examples that we have but anyways the point I am trying to emphasize on all of you is fractions is an important area that cannot be neglected when you are preparing for any of the competitive exams. I think that is all we have for today like the questions yes. So with this we have come to the end of the video here. Right? I hope you have realized understood the importance of fractions. Right? So please keep learning the fractions until you become really really comfortable. Right? For more uh, inputs on this right for uh, uh, kind of uh, inputs that will be more detailed right as I said please get in touch with the closest center that we have right. Also do subscribe this particular uh, channel because here we will be uploading videos very frequently all right on different topics right. Uh, we also be up will also be uploading uh, some difficult question discussions that happens all right that you should be uh, exposed to all right. So for that also uh, subscribing to this channel will certainly help. So on that note, uh, let me end the video here. Right? Thank you and all the very best.